Hello, this is Jay from Cucumber Shop, and today we are looking at the Martina Franca uh, Cucumber Melon from Italy. And uh, this is only available in a very small region of Italy. And a friend of a friend uh, provided it for me. It's very, very nice of him. Um, so I'm growing this in isolation in uh, some raised beds and we'll see how things grow. Um, so it is a uh, kind of like the Tondo Barise. It is round and like the Tondo Mandoria, it is uh, splotched, light with splotching. Uh, though the fruit is a little uh, a little different. The texture's a little different. This one happened to fall out as I was trying to fix the stems um, to allow for the fruit to continue to grow. Um, and as you can see, the, the fruit works to cluster around the crown of the plant. Here's another plant. And uh, fruit will often cluster. There's another Nice picture. We need to get that one out a bit. There we go. Let that one continue to grow. Very, very nice looking fruit. Um, as with all cucumber melons, they have those trichomes, those little hairs. You can brush right off. Now, the Martina Franca, like a lot of cucumber melons, is grown in areas where uh, it's very dry in very arid climates and often dry crop, meaning they'll be given uh, water to begin with, but later on they will not have much water at all. I wonder if I can come around. I'm not sure if I can come around. Let's see. Anyways, there's another one back there. I'm not even sure if I can take a look at that one, but um, this one right here that split would be. Uh, would not split if I were to dry crop it to give this plenty of water, but I'm gonna um, take this fruit because it's split and it won't pr produce good seed. Um, and here is my last one, just starting to fruit, the last plant. Normally, we would allow these to uh, to sprawl if they were out in the field. That's normally how they're cultivated. But I'm um, growing them up tomato cages the best I can. I was gone for several days, so I uh, had to fix them up today, put them back up the tomato cages. Um, but yeah, while we're at it, uh, how about I try one of these fruits? I'll try to stay away from the uh, Mike, while well, I'm trying one of these fruits, and then I'll tell you how it tastes. Well, I'll give you a look. That's the inside. Um, slightly sweet, very nice texture. Nicer than I thought I, I, I would get out of this variety. Um, thought that maybe because it was so rare, it might not be that good, but uh, it's actually really good. Um, so really impressed. Uh, for those of you who grow the Tondo Mandoria and would like the consistent color, this variety gives a very consistent color, uh, whereas the Tondo Mandoria doesn't. Usually the Tondo Mandoria will get the light or the splotch, but never um, very consistent. The growth among these is pretty consistent as well. And so I'm very pleased. Um, yeah, so just, um, just have one, two, three, four, four little spots with uh, probably eight plants is what I've got here. Um, of the um, Martina Franca. If you have any questions for me, just let me know. This is Jay from Cucumber Shop, and happy gardening.